I'm not the first to say it. Vaccines are sometimes the victims of their own success. Measles rates have been on the decline since development of the vaccine in 1963. That is until the rise of anti-vaccination efforts in the last several years. Measles outbreaks are on the rise, and as you've probably seen in the news recently, they're wreaking some serious havoc. This is Healthcare Triage News. Measles is one of the world's most contagious diseases. Fortunately, it is also almost entirely preventable if we do things right. And by do things right, I mean maintain high vaccination rates. And by that measure, it's not going great in some places. One of these places is Samoa. While vaccination rates are lower than we'd like, and thus measles cases higher than we'd like in many countries, vaccination rates in Samoa were only at 31% last year, according to the World Health Organization. They were 90% in 2013, so what happened? Some of the decline has been attributed to the deaths of two infants in July of 2018. These infants died after vaccination, spreading fear among the local community and resulting in a halt of the vaccination program while the situation was investigated. The investigation revealed that the deaths were a result of the vaccine being mixed with an expired muscle relaxant, not a result of the vaccine itself. However, rates were steadily declining before this incident, likely due to the spread of misinformation by anti-vaccine groups. And then this didn't help. Since the outbreak began in Samoa in October, over 4,000 cases of measles have been reported. And as of December 3rd, 60 measles-related deaths have occurred, the majority of them children under four years of age. A nationwide immunization campaign is now underway and vaccinations have been made mandatory. Schools are closed and children are not currently allowed at public gatherings. Unvaccinated families have been asked to place red flags outside their homes and to wait for mobile vaccination clinics to arrive. Hospitals are estimated to be running well over capacity and the government announced a two-day shutdown of non-essential public services in order to redirect efforts to the immunization campaign. This is devastating. One family alone has lost three of their five children to a preventable disease. Like I said, vaccines are often a victim of their own success. It's easy to forget the devastation these diseases can cause and how lucky we are to be able to avoid them. Please protect your children. Hey, did you enjoy this episode? You might enjoy this recent episode we did on measles and its relation to immunity. Another thing you could do is like and subscribe down below and go to patreon.com slash healthcare triage, where, like our research associate Joe Sevitz and our Surgeon Admiral Sam, you can help make the show bigger and better.